Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for today and all that you've put into it, where you've put us. Lord, we're in the midst of so much. So much is going on. And Lord, we're just, we're trying to find our purpose and our place in all of this. And Lord, sometimes we get it we know we get it right and it's it's great and it's joyful and we know our work is praising you and even our, our fun and our hobbies, these things praise you, Lord, and we're glad for that. But Lord, we also recognize that, well, we can get pretty selfish too. And we can be greedy about what we have and not see the abundance with which we live as the opportunity to share. Lord, we can be so fixed on our ideas that we think they come from you. And we act as though our ideas are so godly that they cannot be questioned or corrected. And so, Lord, we ask for humble hearts. And we ask for truth. And we ask for your spirit. And we ask for you to be abund among us and abundantly. And, Lord, we, we pray for those who are starving in faith who are struggling on what they believe and what they understand to be true. And Lord, those who are caught stumbling, whose pain and hurt and sore in their lives comes from their own selves, even though they, they can't seem to see it because they're not looking to your word for you. They're looking to your word and to the fellowship of faith for themselves, if they're looking at all. And so Lord, help us to be those humble servants that they can see, that make good faith apparent. Lord, help us to be more right in the way we shine with your love. Let it go through us, into our lives, into the way we interact with people, that they may feel Christ's presence and still, and until they're ready to, to come and be before him themselves. And so, Lord, our God, we ask you in Jesus' name for the prayers of our hearts and the needs of our lives, that they may be strengthened in your love and in your grace to do your will and to allow us to rejoice and praise you all the more. And Lord, this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Today we turn to the prophet Micah, at chapter 7 at verse 1. Woe is me, for I am as when they have gathered the summer fruits, as the grape gleanings of the vintage, there is no cluster to eat. My soul desired the first strip fruit. Sometimes we can live life in abundance, and abundance pours down around us. We, many of us, are not in periods and a time of abundance. Resources are limited, and access to res the resources we always sort of took for granted just aren't there. And we're beginning to learn a little bit better what we can live with and without, what we really need. And that understanding of our resources will make us better in our, our care for this planet, but also in the respect that we give to others, especially the poor that are, that are among us that have had to live this way always. And we need, as a human society, these limits and these curtails being put up time and again. That our lives may honor and serve God above all and not just our own wants. When you look into your life right now and you see things that you have abundantly, I pray that you are seeing more and more the reason for that abundance is for an open service to God, that when things are limited but still provided, that God is gracious. And God is giving you not, not just the things you need, but some of the things you want that bring joy to life, that make life all the easier to live. And then in the midst of this, as the seasons turn, as the harvests come, we learn to appreciate more and more what's right there on our doorstep, rather than having to, to use up resources to access things on the other side of the world, which are niceties, but when we don't even appreciate what's right before us, it's wasteful. And so, yeah, we're in a time where there's supply chain shortage and some people are having concerns over the food supply. 
And some people are looking at fridges that are a lot more empty and, and shelves and pantries that aren't what they once were in their abundance. And the costs at grocery stores are tremendous. But it doesn't have to be all dire. And this can be a time of learning and growth and transformation on how we use and appreciate the things we do have, the things we can have, and the things we are still given opportunity to share, all that we may glorify God and care for creation together. God bless and keep you. Amen.